I'm at a, yet, yet another paradox, Ginny. I'm at a crossroads. I'm at a. You're so torn I all am the time. Torn. Yeah, on one hand, I am holding the uh, invitation to Shanghai's Who's Who Gala. Wow. So apparently, posh, it's posh. Uh, yeah, very posh. Very. Uh, mm. I'm part of the Shanghai elite. Uh, but on the other hand, I look just to the left of you, and I see that uh, there's a mousetrap in the studio, which uh, doesn't exactly resonate classy. Well, this. Dichotomy to be found everywhere in life. Balance. Yeah, balance. Ying, 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 the, the you need the mouth here. trap to to ground you. Yes, that's true. How would you say mouse trap? Because I don't see that coming up in a Chinese pod uh, lesson. 捕鼠器. 捕鼠器. Mouse trap. Mm. Okay. Um, so it is the the, the Saturday show, and uh, it's hey. the it's the last Saturday show before the May holiday. Yay! And I got to be honest with you, I am rough uh, from last night. Sonic Youth was in town. Oh. And it was an amazing show. And you were a bouncer there. No, I was a bouncer at the Roots. But Sonic Youth, I chose to enjoy the show and not have to take people's uh, two Kwai beer uh. away from them. So we've got that show. Mm. Uh, I heard you've got a bit of uh, music. My own favorite crooner's show. Did you which go? Which happened, of course, highlight of my year. That's, uh, Last time you shoot Paul Newman's. Hey, kid. <laughs> and that was the highlight of your life. And my equivalent is the Kroonis show. Very nice. So we've got that. I think it's going to be a very uh, music-heavy show because yes. we've got that. Because um, we have nothing else to We contribute. really don't have a lot. And I am feeling rather rough, rough yes. Uh, went to a rock festival in Nanjing last oh. week. And I want to talk about that. And I also want to talk about the, the train that I took. We mentioned it mm. last week, but I want to talk about that. Um, there is a new we're going to start we're going to my my second produce my mm -hmm. second produce my second production music production anyway uh. met an artist down there who we're going to produce a trip hop album because oh. i do believe that trip hop is something that could be very big the here way for the future. I think so because people mm. here love hip hop mm -hmm. and people here like the, the Chinese uh, the, the vo vocals and things like that. Nobody's done a trip hop album so finally my friend and I said we'll do it. Wow, so I'm going to play I'm the looking forward to yeah, I'm gonna play the because vocalist. I don't even know what trip hop is. Trip hop uh, you know like Massive Attack Portishead it's very so you've got the mm, mm, mm. But you've got the very pretty, more rhythmic. Yeah, but you've got torn. the beautiful, beautiful, you know, usually Fragmented. female voice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'll play you the, the 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 vocals of the girl, and then yes. later on in the year we'll play the uh, the album. Uh, which speaking you'll produce. More, which I'll produce. Yeah. Speaking of uh, music, the uh, the charity event is coming up. Purple rain. Purple. Oh, you can. Go and easy. yesterday you were just uh, running around to find purple confetti. Yes, One. we did find purple oh, confetti. Uh, and it's weird because Saturday's show is taped on Wednesday, so the show is actually tomorrow. Oh. So uh, we're going to show it, no matter how it turns out, mm. because I've already mentioned it now. But also show you how the rehearsal. And went, the purpose which, is just to make a fool of yourself for charity. For charity. For the, for the puppies and the kitties and things like that. Uh, new idea for how to uh, get a new host because Yay, so far we got so inspired from our viewers' comments. Yeah, and up till now, nobody wants. To come and play with us, so uh, we're going to do that. And, That's uh, such a great reality check for us. We are not as big as we thought. I like to think we're actually even bigger, and people are just intimidated. All right. But that's what How I like to think. Exactly. And uh, a bit of Chinese pot news. So uh, let's go ahead and talk about your crooner, the show. Which guy was this again? Zhang Xueyou. Jackie Chan, Jackie. you might recall we played a song titled... I'm so hurt. I'm so hurt, mm. yes. Heartbreaking. How was the show? Where was the show? Give us a rundown. I was a mess. I bought lo <laughs> little uh, candlesticks and went like that for four hours. Did a four-hour show? Yeah, and he's 45. He was singing, dancing, even did a 30-minute musical rendition. Four-hour show? Four hours. Started at 7.30 and ended at 11.30. How much were tickets? Uh, ranged between 180 and 1,800. Wow. But that was the most... That was the best 580 kwai I've ever spent in my well, life. Well, that works out to carry the seven. A little <laughs> bit more than 100 kwai an hour. Yeah. Fantastic. Fantastic. Okay. So uh, a lot of people there. Mm, Jackie representing the, the heartbroken and weeping any. People. Well, he's not like that. But with the, he's got depth and range. Well, of course he does. That's why he can play for four hours. So that's good to know. <laughs> uh, Sonic Youth was last night. And let me tell you, they are as good as was they it were. And it, it was a madhouse. And I tell you, before the show, uh, you know, I do, uh, I'm a music writer for City Weekend. Mm -hmm. And I was seriously considering writing a very long article on how the promoters here and the, the acts that come here, everybody's going, oh, yeah, the live music here is great. Yeah. It's great for the local scene, whatever. I was getting ready to write an article saying that the tickets prices are so high yes. that, that it can't affect the local mm. scene. The Roots, great show. It was all foreigners. Okay, mm -hmm. So I already had this kind of in my head. And I walked into Sonic Youth and it was 85% Chinese. And I was so 
unbelievably happy. Whoa. Very, very good. A lot of people, a lot of Chinese knew uh-huh. the words, which is, you know, the Sonic Youth is not a band that you remember a lot of the words. Yeah. They went nuts. It was an absolutely, absolutely fantastic right. show. And uh, so, yeah. However, def- I do complain about the ticket price. The, it's out of range. The ticket prices were still, I mean, it was between, I think, 380 and 580, which mm. is, that's a lot of money, yeah. uh, to be honest with you. So uh, it was good. I guess uh, people did maybe save up or, or whatever, but mm. a lot of people there and they're getting but ready after- you just think, oh, all the saving up is worth it. It is worth it. Mm-hmm. And I mean, and that's, come on, 580 is, you know, it, it's it's a large night out, yeah. you know, so you substitute that, but it was great. And uh, Sonic Youth, the, the everybody knows Sonic Youth, but they're going to be headlining Coachella. So if you're in the States, be sure and uh, catch them. They are as good as they were 10 years ago, I promise you. Uh, so that's cool. Mm. Um, okay, we might as well go ahead and, well, let's do some something important, some important uh, Chinese pod news. First of all, the uh, a lot of people uh, commenting about the RSS feed not available. It's very very soon. It's going to be uh, you're going to have that option mm. on your personalized feed, so yes. you will be able to get us in your iPod. But for now, you have to go to extra chinesepod.com, which is a step closer to us. It is. We are on extra. We are. We, we've been moved to extra chinesepod.com. <laughs> I won't go into that. Eric, uh, <laughs> start like your new home. <laughs> yes, that's true. Um, oh, and also people commenting, and and we're wondering how in the world we're going to get another host. Mm. Uh, so what we're going to do is, I forgot which person mentioned it, but it is a fantastic idea. Yes. We're going to bring in, after the break, because mm. uh, next week you're not going to have a show because mm. you're gone, I'm gone. After the break, we're going to bring in one person a week for eight weeks. And then the audience... Will we have that eight people we need? <laughs> Maybe we should just do a fortnightly kind of contest. You yes. bring one friend, I'll bring one friend. But then people can vote. So you vote down to the last four, mm. and then you pick the one host. So the That's people, our own now derivative version of American Idol. It's going to be Chinese Pot Idol, oh. and it's going to be huge. So uh, that'll You that'll could be do gonna, something better than the title, Chinese Pot Idol. Chinese, how, what, how, how, do you say, uh, how do you say idol in Chinese? Oh, Xiang. Oh, Chinese pot, oh, xiang. Oh, that sounds uh, nice. Chinese pot, oh, xiang. Oh, I like it. Now a you will lot. be harassing me for those Chinese characters and pinyin. Yes, please. Could you send those to me? Because they yes. should be up uh, right there. Here. Oh, sh- what is it? <laughs> oh, xiang. Right there. Hopefully. Um, Okay, speaking of uh, technical things needing to be sent, uh, the big charity show Mm. is tomorrow night for SCAA. SCAA, Mm. I think it's SCAA.org if you want to uh, to kind of see what they're doing. We've had them on the show before, my all-time favorite charity here in Shanghai. Uh, My friend Ben and I are Mm. singing and performing uh, Mm. Purple Rain. And uh, I was really excited. You saw me a few weeks ago excited about this. Uh, however, uh, we, what changed? We, well, we taped the rehearsal, <laughs> and I actually saw what we look like. In, well, in fact, you know what? I'm just going to regretfully uh, play it for And you, I'm here. going to enjoy it. Honey, I know, I know, I know the times are changing. Great. I, it's a good thing we look great because the sound is, uh, well, we'll see. We'll see. We're actually considering like cutting holes in our in our, in our bums, like Prince did, you know, for the nineteen ninety nine tour. What does that mean? We, you know, like uh, trousers, having like assless uh, trousers for yeah, the show, yeah. because apparently we're gonna have to really get by on aesthetics. Um, <laughs> so that's gonna be. So uh, right now it's Wednesday, mm. and um, the show is going to happen tomorrow. But this show goes out Let's on Saturday. Hope something dramatic <laughs> happens. Well, between now and. Thursday? Yeah. Um, so I don't know what it's going to look like on stage, but we are going to film it and we're going to put it uh, right here. Mm. So this is to what embarrass it looks yourself like. in front of the entire world. Keep in mind, I'm doing it for the kiddies. Yes. <laughs> Never want to cause you any sorrow. Never let it cause you any pain. Yeah. I want to one time see you laughing. Only wanted to see you laughing in the purple rain. Purple rain. Purple rain, purple rain, purple rain. 
I don't know how to react because, again, we left that slot kind of in the future. Mm -hmm. So hopefully what you just saw was an amazing performance. Yay, uh, how by, amazing. Good for you, Eric. You know, I'm going to be I'm power positive. Yeah, that was a great show, and we right. won. Yes. I don't know that for sure. If we do, and Ben and I get a romantic weekend in Beijing. Oh, romantic yeah. weekend. And you saw him. I mean, you can't blame me for, for wanting something mm. like that. So music, music, music. Um, the Rock Fest. Can I talk about the Rock yes. Fest in Nanjing? It's, uh, first of all, we, we touched on the, uh, the bullet train, the new bullet train yeah. from Shanghai to Nanjing. Nanjing's a fun town to keep talking about. Mm. I enjoy Nanjing. But now you can... Do you, you keep a secret wife there? Um, what keeps yeah, you going actually, back? Actually, well, just, it's just a, it just <laughs> grabs you, that town. And they've got the best town. Tex-Mex restaurant. It has town. that grabbing power. It really does. Um, so I do.
do want to talk very quickly mm. about the bullet train because before a lot of people they wouldn't go to Nanjing because maybe three and a half hours. You know what I mean? Yeah. But the bullet train is beautiful. Mm. Uh, like I said, first class ticket cost you about a hundred kwai, which isn't bad. Mm. Get there in two hour. Nice plush seats, everything yes. like that. So if you're in visiting Shanghai, go out to Nanjing. And proper coffee. And proper coffee. Very nice coffee. And we went to this mountain in Nanjing. It was. Um, Something, sh- something, Sean. <laughs> it's um. I'm not going to help you with that one because I don't know. Oh, which map I'll just say Sean. Something Sean. Yeah, a random, a random Sean. So <laughs> go to Nanjing. Uh, but we went to uh, an all-day rock fest sponsored mm. by China Mobile. Some good acts, some uh, acts that needed a lot more work. But again, it some was some purple um, rainish acts. No purple rain. It was a lot of <laughs> war, death metal stuff like that. But um. It was it was good. Uh, mm. It was good in the fact that Saturday, last Saturday, was beautiful. Mm. I mean, we're talking maybe eighty eight degrees. So I go down there in a great mood. Go to a Mexican restaurant called Behind the Ball, mm. and we're having margaritas. And we're like, okay, tomorrow's going to be the big rock fest. Great. Wake up and it is freezing cold. It's raining down, absolutely pissing down. And we're like, okay, it's a perfect weather for a rock concert. Yeah, kind of. We're raining. Because I always cool. think. Rock musicians have to be enraged first in order to. That's actually perform. a good point. That's actually nice and sunny doesn't exactly yeah. go with speed metal. So okay, maybe it worked. But it was an all day thing. It went. Uh, it went okay. Mm. But I did catch some friends of mine who are based out of Chengdu. Uh, the name is Proximity Butterfly. Two Americans and uh, two Americans, a Canadian and a Chinese guy. They kind of formed this band, and Proximity it's very um, Butterfly. Proximity Butterfly. They, uh, if you like Perry Farrell, Porno for Pyros, Jane's Addiction, that kind of things, uh, I think you will like them. If you're ever in Chengdu, they put on a very, very cool show. It's very, uh, very futuristic. So I do want to play a little bit of them because they were, that was the best band uh, to catch during that uh, music festival. And Nanjing, it's Proximity Butterfly. Proximity Butterfly mm. out of Chengdu. Chengdu is a great town. Well, let's talk about Chengdu next Chengdu. week, not in the two weeks from now, because mm. that is a hell of a town. Yes. Um, so we'll talk about Chengdu next time. Ha. And I, yeah, I think that's that's it. That's it was very music based, but there's nothing wrong with that. No, nothing. Uh, don't forget about us. Extra chinesepod.com. If you're just listening to the uh, the podcast, we are a video show now, so uh, mm. you can be sure and catch us there. You are off to, uh, to go nowhere. anything for <laughs> my holiday of being action. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Actually, when this show comes out... Just goofing around, yeah. chilling out. Very nice. When this show comes out, I will be we'll on be Bondi Beach. Sunny Aussie. Yes, I'm very excited about that. Um, so, guess Get that's your it. thumbs. Oh, can I tell you a quick story? Mm. Before I forget, I was drunk at an art party the other weekend. Yeah. And I went up to this couple, and I'm just talking, everybody's mingling, whatever, whatever. And I said, oh, where are you guys from? They're like, oh, well, from, from Sydney, mate. That's ah. a very bad accent. And uh, I was like, oh, great, because I need a place to stay. Kidding, right? Mm. And they're like, no, actually, we have this um, we have this, this apartment that we're never in because we pretty much spend most of our time in Shanghai. And we would love for you to stay there because we're actually worried that, you know, it might get broken into. And I'm sitting there going, I'm, I'm just kidding. Worried just about kidding. getting broken into and they're inviting in. You to break it. Right. Another paradox, right? So finally, they kept they kept at it. So finally, I'm like, fine. Okay, mm. fine. Just thinking maybe they were drunk and were, were being really nice, whatever. Yes. Two, two, three days ago, I get an email from them giving me exact directions to their place, exactly where the key is going to be hidden, oh. and they sent a picture of the view. I want to see that picture. Here it is. Mm. Is that not gorgeous? Overlooking, <gasps> you see that? Circular Key, the harbor. That is the harbor. You can see the little the, the opera house oh right there. Oh my gosh! The, right, it's. It, I love the Aussies, and yes. I haven't even been there yet. So. so you're going to stay there? Yes, that's where I'm going to be For spending serious? my time. Yeah, of course I am. Oh, yeah, I'll send you a picture it's of me. It's so unfair. Why you get all the luck and the who's who invitation, and I don't? I tell you, this is what's funny about the who's who. I was going to tell you this. It's like here come you're very. Oh, you're part of the elite. Ooh, you. I been want to be chosen. in that circle. Yeah. Oh, by the way, tickets are nine hundred kwai. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go ahead and give that a miss. But uh, have a good, uh, have a good. Uh, what is it? May holiday? How do you May say that? May holiday, Lao Dong Jie. Lao Dong Jie. Okay. Well, there you go. One more words and one more pin for ex- me. Ex- <laughs> I give you more work, and I'm going to Australia. <laughs> have a good break. Same to all of you. See, See you ya. next week. Bye. The week after. Week after. Bye. <laughs>